Talk right, to me yeah. about how you can tell the dating preferences of a society based on the ratio of their fingers. Um, it, it sounds bizarre, doesn't it? But it seems to work quite well. And, and this was established um, uh, both in, in, in animals and in, in humans. So it works quite well in primates. Um, but it seems that the genes that control the length of the fingers, and particularly the second and the fourth digit, so your uh, index finger and your uh, ring finger, are determined uh, by uh, or, or are influenced during development by testosterone load uh, in, in the womb, so the fetal, uh, the load that the fetus is of testosterone from the mother that the fetus is exposed to. Um, the higher that is, um, the uh, uh, shorter the, the index finger is. So More testosterone um, is shorter index finger. Yes, shorter index finger means that um, you are on the whole more likely to be promiscuous and they, and it's kind of indicative of high testosterone levels then both internally to you so some uh, male babies because they're obviously switching over uh from being a kind of generic um non-sex so so a female body form is the default yeah body form. i remember i don't right. know, i got to interject there there is a, um, I think it's called Gone Girl, which was a movie, kind of a thriller movie a few years ago. I'm pretty sure that the line was in that. And the, the female protagonist in it is very manipulative. And she uses this line that would have slipped under the radar for a lot of people. But she points at the guy and she says, the male form is an aberration. <laughs> And that's so cool, right? Because it's the reason that men have got nipples, right? You need to yes. be born with all of the elements all of the yeah. individual bits that could make a woman and yeah. then you you turn from a kind of nothingness that could be a woman into a man and yeah. then that was why she said she pointed at him and she says the male form is Correct. an aberration yeah well this is also what's known um as the race to be male because it depends on how fast the fetus grows so it's a combination of having a y chromosome and how 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 much fat the baby lays lays down, and that switches the brain over from this kind of generic female brain into a male brain, which is clearly missing lots of bits that should be there <laughs> as a result. Okay, so um, what you were saying before, the finger length, that isn't the determinant of the no, dating just, preference. That is simply a manifestation of testosterone yeah. levels. Testosterone yeah. is. So you're yeah. saying shorter index finger, more testosterone. It would appear yeah. more yeah. testosterone also correlated with shorter monogamous partnerships. Um, normally, it would be uh, either totally promiscuous mating systems or mating systems in which males compete with each other for to monopolize groups of females. So, what's sometimes known as a harem-based um, social system, where you have one male so, uh, and a number of females and their offspring. So species like gibbons, which are obligately monogamous, very occasionally they might have two, maybe even three females, exceptionally in their little group. Uh, but you know, ninety-eight percent of gibbon groups in the wild are strictly monogamous, and the pair stays together for, for effectively for life. Very long index fingers. Uh, no, no, they're very equal, right? Uh, uh, and, and if you look at monogamous species, sorry, polygamous species of primates, they then tend to have both both sexes will have index fingers which are shorter than uh, the ring finger. But the more promiscuous sex will have relatively shorter um, index finger uh, compared to the female. So the, the males who tend to be the more promiscuous sex will, will even in the um, promiscuous species will have uh, sh a, 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 a more deviant um, uh, finger ratio than the females. Well, you do and you see that, that in humans as well. Um, women tend tens to be... of thousands of people right now looking at their hands. Yes, I know. And working out <laughs> whether or not their whether or not their digits justify their desire to cheat or to go out and have sex with somebody tonight. Yes, well, well, it, it, um, the, you have to be a little bit careful because the padding 
of the flesh and the muscles around the finger bases disguises the point where you should be measuring from, right? So you, you need to find the joint between the um, uh, finger, um, uh, the bottom finger bone and the top end of the first um, hand bone, if you like. Um, and, and, and the differences are very, very small. They would be hard to tell by eye, although I have seen some males with spectacularly short um, uh, 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 index fingers, which is just blindingly obvious. And you take one look at them and their behavior and you go, yes, you're an absolute bastard, basically. <laughs> not, not, just, not just in the world of, of romance, but in the world of work, you know. Uh, just high testosterone <laughs> coursing through oh, them. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I mean, just fizzing. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.